Disclaimer. Disclaimer. This is a rough one. This is a rough one. But a very important one. This is a game called Dead Dragon Cancer. A trigger warning here. This is a game that deals with the loss of family, the loss of children, and cancer. This is what Make-A-Wish does. This is what they're fighting for. And this is exactly what I want to play here today. This is a game that at least everybody should have at least played or seen once. All right. But it's said and done. Let's start the third last part of tonight's stream. Dead Dragon Cancer. The subtitle should be on here. Hold on. Okay. This is a heavy one. This is a heavy one. So for that I want to say... Careful. If you can't watch this, don't want to watch this, no shame. This will also be the one part of the stream okay, that's going to be family friendly. Hey, yeah. no problem, Lucas. Thank you. That's what I'm doing here tonight. This is the one part of the stream that's going to be serious. No swearing, no jokes, and it will be a family friendly part of the stream. Oh, don't touch the birds. No. no, no, no. Don't touch the birds. No, and no, no. does, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although with it, as long as it is respectable, we in context and you know, no problem. But this is a rough. I don't. I don't think I should explain the story much more because eventually the story will tell itself. This is a two-hour-long experience that I. I just want to showcase people. Because this is the only game that has ever made me crawl my eyes out. Uh, cry my eyes out. The Bahama Mama. Oh, guys, give Joel some bread. Thank you for the follow. Mom, he threw the whole piece. <laughs> well, Isaac, you gotta give him little pieces. He doesn't understand. Here you go, Joel. Here's a piece. Okay, no, you throw it. Joel's almost five, right? You've yeah. seen this game? Yeah. <laughs> But he can't talk. It's true. <laughs> you always can talk. Yeah, I know. Why can't Joel? Well, <laughs> Joel got sick right after he turned one. And, um, kind of slowed him down a little bit, buddy. Yeah. So he's just slower than most kids. I think eventually he'll catch up. Yeah, I think Joel will read eventually. Well, Isaac, of course. He's just delayed. Because, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're supposed to be a boy. Oh, Mama. But no he's problem. a baby. Thank you for even for He's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's a boy baby. That's just about right. You know, there's lots of things Joel isn't good at, but there's some things he is good at. What is he good at? He's eating, laughing. <laughs> yeah. I'm good at making him laugh. You are good at making him laugh. Why, how do you make him laugh? I yeah. fall down. Yeah. It's really funny when you fall down. <laughs> He's good at doing this what he loves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
This is a story of Joel. Um. What does Joel do? And Joel's family and Wild. Joel's parents. <laughs> in cups and bathtubs. And the warm wet tongues and the cool fur of Das. Maybe this week was a daily affection. And bye byes. And blown kisses. And more. Oh, always more. This full list of words. So few. This is a game made by Joel's parents. This is a game based on this a true story, on a true life, what and is on a true family. Without a word for it. And who is God? What is joy? You'll see. You'll see. You'll see how the game will play out. Me too. Myself a little bit smaller in the corner right here. All right. Who am I to him? <laughs> this is his father. Dada. This is Joel's father. shouldn't give much commentary about because this is the one game that really will tell itself so stick around stick around story on this game you should probably google it and look Who's at the website there? or a review Let's on the wikipedia page of this game because really well. <laughs> that will tell you pretty well what's going on yeah. here he's been very peaceful all afternoon oh yeah 
we can speak detailed explanation. What, what do you think, Isaac? Yes, it does. <laughs> he just, he's he's Wait. in the hospital, so they're taking care of him. And that's how he gets his food? His food goes through that, too. Yeah. I gotta go, too. There's no way I can handle this right now, Sumio. No problem. Thank you for everything that you're doing today. I'll make a few hours for the rest of the stream and leave that to support in the meantime. You're perfectly understandable. Perfectly understandable. See? It's jolly. It's over here. Hey babe, just got done at the doctor. Um, now they think that maybe he's throwing up all the time because he has acid reflux, so... They gave me a medication and we can give it to Joel and they said we have to give it at least three full days but that if he's still throwing up after that that we can come back and I mentioned the head tilt thing again even though they keep saying it's not related but you always have to mention that one weird outlying thing so I told them how his head was tilted to the right but they still say that that's probably not related at all so I think we'll have to leave I'm not sure if we can handle we'll this you know I'm maybe back either yeah. way see you later know. I'll tell you more about it perfectly understandable patient perfectly understandable because at 7 p.m., so in one and a half hours, then, you know, Fizra starts, so... Uh, if you can't handle it, you can't make it, I don't blame you. This is a rough one. I'll see if I'm a little bit longer, I don't know how long it's taking. I'm gonna do this and I'm working on some stuff like it. No problem, those. No problem. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Man. This is something that you wish you could do as an adult, but <laughs> you know that simply you're, you're too heavy for it. Well, you're beating me, Joel. You're the greatest swinger in Antarctica. Jump off. Oops. This is what time? Technically, they won Discord now. Uh, 7 p.m. PST. That's when it starts. Well, every jewel is gone right now, so. It starts in two and a half hours from now, Withered. So, you know, try to keep that as um, standard. Fear is cancer's preservative, cancer's embalming oil. And you, O oh accuser, are fear's oil salesman. You're a snake, a serpent, a dragon with snuffed out coal on his breath, molting and talons broken from the struggle to free yourself of your own skin. Hospital where the game will truly begin.
strap in. This is a rough one. I can't stress it enough. I really can't. There is no game I can think of, out of the thousands of games that I know about, that is a rougher experience than this one. But it is still something so worth to showcase to people. Hey, do you want to rock? Okay, let's rock. There we go. I was just thinking, do you ever think maybe Joel can hear better than he's supposed to be able to? Because I know, like, it's supposed to be moderate to severe hearing loss, but sometimes, like today, he hears music playing before I do. So I saw him dancing, and I had to look around to hear that a song was playing. And I just don't, like, if his hearing loss is that bad, I can't imagine. I don't know. I just wonder about it. Anyway, call me later. Bye. Bye, babe. I think Joel has great hearing. This currently takes place in the hospital sometime after Joel is born. And for the most part of this game, you'll be playing as his father. To showcase the life of little Joel. And yes, this is all based on a true story, a true family. Don't get popped, don't get popped, don't get popped. Okay. You got it, Joel, you got it. Ooh. Yeah, I'm actually controlling this. And you can dodge the brambles. Oh no! Oh, my balloons are popping. Oh no! I have three left. Come on. Come on, Joel. Ooh. The next she looks rigged. It is. It is. <gasps> so. oh. You're not meant to uh, to win this one. Oh. 
Hey, little man. Oh, hey. Um, I just wanted to take a shower. Is that okay? Are you okay with Joel? Okay, thanks. the halls of the hospital and well, let's go over to the jewel the mom by the hey, way. Hey honey, we're on our way home from the hospital now. She's, uh, so if you wanted mother. to preheat the oven starting in about 30 minutes, that would work and we could throw in that lasagna. Um, do you know how they celebrate off treatment day? Like when kids are done with their treatments? I I guess maybe you don't because you're not in the clinic as much as I am, but on someone's last day, they always bring them a cake and they sing happy off therapy day to you. Anyway, that happened today. I mean, it happens a lot, but today I cried. I just wanted that day so bad, you know? I just like, we're not ever gonna get that day. If he's better, we won't know that he's better. We don't get a day. Anyway, okay, call me if you can. Like, there's probably traffic, so I could talk on my way home. All right, bye. Bye. Wait, what? 
this game but Didn't i remember watching it back in 2015. okay is it just the doctor or and or is this our doctor well because the uncalled doctor is just a resident what was it crash well yeah i read us on those mats me too it's interesting little fish that details like, like a high pitch like a detail on all the rps together. and health rate there's a lot of it's a lot of love isn't it dangerous this game. for him not to get it i thought he needed that it really is I, I know you're just doing what you're saying, but can I, can I just talk to the doctor now? It's one of hospitals. Or, or maybe it's one big hospital, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Right, buddy? These are all real life pictures, but I have no idea where they got them from. I have no idea. I assume they got them from the hospital itself, where they got treatment in. See. The Temple of Man. This game is gonna get rough. It's already pretty rough, but once we get to the latter half of the game, and they show you what happened. Discovery. Hey, it's you again. I love you, my friend. You're mine too. This is my favorite game. Do you want to see? Watch out, start it. <laughs> you touch it right here, then the big lion comes. You know a scary lion? so loud. I can roar just like him. Yeah, you hear me roar? Sure. Why? Don't be afraid. You might want to cover your ears. We're standing around waiting. Yeah, I think so too. I think that's what the parents looked at during the excruciating moments they had to spend in the hallways of the hospital. And I wonder if they actually managed to get those pictures from hospital animals. for this game. Tears is my flavor. This whole game is controlled with keyboard and mouse, by the way. Uh, uh, no, not keyboards, with mouse. Constellations. <laughs> Are these constellations? <laughs> Dog, horse, giraffe? <laughs> Looks like them. I'm not sure they are constellations. Huh? <laughs> Not 
real ones, I think. No? I think these are constellations that they saw up in the sky. <laughs> Put a visual up to. Those weren't real constellations, but well. <sighs> okay. This terrible routine, watching you, waiting for you to wake, hoping you will never remember these days of illness and treatment. One day, I'll bring you here, show you your tiny handprints on the wall, and you'll be annoyed that we all think of you as some big miracle. Cancer will be such a small part of all you could grow to be. You will tire of hearing about it. You won't want to see the cards and notes I saved. And I won't mind at all. I'll hold the memories of this hard day. You just leave it behind. You, I, H, C, kids and families. I assume that's the name of the hospital, right? Oh, hold on. The blue one over here. Matthijs Dauwe. Well, that, that right there is a Dutch person. I can tell that. No, that's a Dutch child that passed away at the age of 10. Matthijs Dauwe. Now keeping it together. I hate looking at the dates. If you if you look at the dates, you can add up the age in which they passed away. So many though. There's so many. So many cards, and all of them do different people. God. So 
so many. advice from MD. They say that the hospital... So here's the thing, right? Um, I used to work at the hospital for a long time. And here is a word of advice from the people that work there. They always told me, you never want to go to the hospital. Unless your child is born... Unless your child's born here, the hospital is the last place you want to visit. There's a lot of truth in that. Whether well, Swedish or Norwegian, not all words spell entirely. It looked more like... It, 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 didn't look, it, look, it didn't look Scandinavian at all to me, but... Sorry guys, no good. This hits a bit close to home. It's a rough one, those. It's a very rough one. Farmer Bill makes the pigs bacon for breakfast. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Farmer Bill plays fetch with the pigs. I love this toy, I want it. Farmer Bill enjoys a mud bath with the pigs. This is an unusual toy, but I, I but no doubt this exists. Farmer Bill scratches the pigs chinny chin chin. <laughs> at the square dance at night, the common toy for young children. I'm pretty sure this toy goes like, the cow goes moo, the pig goes wink. That's how it goes, right? Farmer Bill doesn't like it when the ducks get the mail. They always bring back a lot of bills. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Man, I'm already losing it, but I'm here for experience. Much respect to you, Maury. It's a rough one. The knight? That's right, a bishop. <laughs> I but did, did, did young kids know about chess? What? Yep, there's a common Farmer to Bill asked the horse to take the truck to town. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure I saw Farmer Bill doing that. <laughs> what kind of joke machine is this? What? Farmer Bill separates oh. the sheep from the goats. Sheep go to heaven. Goats go to town. What? I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Oh, man. Case Coyote. Thank you for the $50 to make a wish. Thanks, Case. Show me the paper. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. I'm 
I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Oh, no. Case finish your sentence right there. No, 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 no. Size matters. If I know how big it is, I can, I can face it. I can size it up. And it's quite small at this point, but unfortunately the size isn't terribly important. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. In case you haven't caught up yet, Joel right here was born with a brain tumor. And in this scene, they get the results and the truth about how it's going to be looking. I guess I have imagined it. It's an ATRT. I've it's imagined it a lot, but not like this. It is fatal. It's different. So I thought I would sob uncontrollably or puke just right on the floor. I thought I'd shake or wail or something. We can't continue to give him I guess this is shock. Tragedy, he said. That's right. That's the perfect word for this. It's a tragedy. I wonder if he says that every time. He's crying a little. I love him for that. He's not callous. He's genuinely sad. She is too. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curative. Doctor? We're very good at end of life care. We're very good at managing the pain and masking symptoms at the end of life. How long are we talking about? Prediction time again. No matter what I say, I wish it was longer. Yes. But sometimes next, longer is worse. Is this. It's, uh, a few weeks hour. to maybe four months. Is in an hour. <clears throat> well? Is Nick crying? How long are we talking about? How am I going to hold it together now? A few weeks to maybe four months. Life expectancy. Five months max. Head off, head on. Okay. Look, man, I'm still alive. Okay, no problem. So am I. Oh, this is rough. Yes. Also, hydrate. Okay, no worry. I am. Um... Science, it's simpler. This game is a, very painful. B, and I get no. this result, and I can do something to control it. Or, yeah, I have so much respect to the parents of Joel for making this game. But now all we have left is a miracle, and miracles are fickle. They don't always come, and we don't always know why. But if Joel's miracle doesn't come? I hope he lives. I've always hoped. And now I can't do anything but hope. Oh, radiation. At least we can do something. Hope doesn't require signing papers or driving to hospitals or holding Joel in my lap. Hope is for something someone else has to do for us. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm. And when doctors can't. Well, I'm fine for now, but I know what's coming up. I know how this game concludes. Oh, God, I do not want a replacement baby. If that was your plan, I am not on board. I don't want some new baby to help me move on. I would not have chosen it. Oh, God, Joel has to live or I will not love this baby. Sorry guys, it's not good. Yamaha? They've always been clear! Joel's had a recurrence of his tumor. 
Where is it? How big is it? Well, it's in the tunnel first. And it's quite small at this point. I, I am going to finish this game with Steve. I will still finish it. This is a tragedy. Also from Make a Wish. With an ATRC, as soon as you have an appearance of any kind, it's only a matter of time before it spreads to several locations. We have already thrown all the chemotherapy we have at it. We can see the chemotherapy that we know is existing. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curious. A few weeks to four months. At this time, Joel is five years old. He was born with a brain tumor. And after four years of therapy, surgery and medication, his parents, his siblings, and the rest of his family. But that is answer. around in my spirit that I have to write to settle myself and find God's wisdom in the midst of chaos. I'm scared I won't be strong enough to face the things we might have to face in the coming weeks and months. But then I remember how much grace God gave us to walk out everything we've already faced. I've never felt completely overwhelmed and I've never felt alone. So no matter what comes next, and I truly cannot even begin to guess how this will go. I know we will be carried. I want to shout out, look what God is about to do. Watch how he delivers Joel. And at the same time, I want to roll up in a silent ball and wait it out with fear and trembling, so aware of all my doubt but yet convinced that my doubt is insignificant compared to God's faithfulness. So how long will we be in California? I don't actually know. That's kind of why we're packing up everything. It's because if the trial works really well, then maybe we'll stay in California for a really long time. Like, as long as it keeps helping Joel, then we want to stay also, and do the best we can for him to stay right. where he's getting help. But if the medicine starts to not work as soon as it's not helping him, I promise we'll come back home. Uh, Welcome, Double P and Mauricio. Are we going Welcome to back. Disneyland? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, head, head on. Excited, mm. but I'm kind of not. I mean, I think it'll be fun, but I just don't like missing school. Oh yeah. <laughs> and get that head back. I hate to miss school, huh? But like, um, why? Also, at the very end of this, I want to see if I can think of a stretch goal for um, fifteen hundred dollars and for seventeen fifty maybe. 
a bond. Um, so question for you guys. Think of a stretch goal. Think of a stretch goal. Think at least one for fifteen hundred dollars. What is something more crazier? Oh, her expectation is I can so do maddening sometimes. Or buy or. Do you know what she wrote on the eve of Joel's first surgery? The one back in January when we first found the tumor. I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm pleading for so God to spare his life. Hard mode. And I'm tempted I mean, to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude weird, I if you don't expect much of more dollars, I will play that on the stream. <sighs> and I'm crying my eyes just expecting leaking. a surprise party from the Lord. It's a heavy one. Replete with Too low audio for you, Sunio. Huh? Really? Is that true? Because I'm pretty sure my microphone is still working fine. I envy her. Um... Is is a microphone is a microphone good or is the game too loud? Because it, in either in either either case I can fix it I can fix it. Um, Teddy Penguin tattoo with a blue Santa hat on my butt. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> I might do that. Game might be a tiny bit too loud. Okay. Then I will turn on the game a little bit. Okay. So. Um, I hope the microphone is still correct, but I can turn that up a little bit. Um, there we go. Okay, is it balanced out right now? Actually, getting a tattoo of a blue Santa hat on a penguin, that might actually be a pretty cool thing to do. I think you turn quieter because of the mood of the game. Yes. You're correct. This is not exactly a game to um to you know Hop in bed boys. Let's go. Boys, get in bed. Oh. It's not funny Can time. Please no. tell us a story. Right. Press a button to start. Uh, <sighs> sure. Okay, this is the story of a very brave knight Called you named out. Joel. Joel the baby knight? Yes, Joel the baby knight, but he's also Joel the very brave knight, and he was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. Because of his tumor? Mm-hmm. So, his older brother is called Isaac. That is the boy on the left, right there. Where does the dragon live? Um, in a forest. Is the dragon big? Very big. Ah, okay. Does the dragon breathe fire? So much fire, you guys. Wait, don't lose, don't lose. So... Joel has armor, like a sword and a shield and stuff. Ooh, or maybe a spear. Missing a sword. Ooh. Hell yeah, got him. Yeah, that sounds good. So, so brave, Sir Joel, with his sword and his shield and his awesome spear and super jumping ability, was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. What other superpowers does he have? Uh, he yeah. also has grace. That's not a superpower. <laughs> that is a superpower. It's the best superpower. That is a superpower. Do you guys know what grace means? Yeah, it's kind of like hope. Yeah, it's kind of like hope. You know, and he's not the only one who's ever tried to fight this dragon. Some very brave knights have fought this dragon in the lost. And some are able to drive the dragon off. Maybe they can go home and they can quit fighting for it. And the kingdom is... Are we in a graveyard right now? Wait, what? Joel's been fighting this dragon for a long time, huh? A long time. 
so this is where the Joel name of the game comes from. A nice empty cave where he could rest. This is where the name of the game comes from. That dragon cancer. You know, usually when you play medieval kind of games, a dragon is always the biggest, most fearful like enemy in the game. And sadly, but sometimes the dragon is too tough to beat. That the danger was past, the dragon found his hiding spot and came after him in the cave. Wait, what? Oh, run, Joel! That dragon's going to kill you. Joel's going to lose. Why do you say that? Oh, boss it's fight! Just, oh, it's just a big thing. You can't kill dragon. You're right. A baby can't kill the dragon. But that's the best part of the story. What if he can? God oh my him. god! So he fights that dragon cancer right with Joel. And we know that God can win, even if Joel can't. That's grace. Oh! It's actually a boss fight. Come on, Jill, you got this. Oh. Oh. Well, what about Tim from Church Mode? He died from cancer. Wasn't God fighting for him? Didn't he have this? Oh. God fought for Tim, too. Come on, Tim. Tim fought so well. Oh my god, how did I touch this? It may have seemed like the dragon won when it's Tim died. We know that Tim's in heaven, that he's the god, and that God is so proud of him. So maybe for Tim getting to be done fighting all these things. He's gotta come on the right. Uh, the left. Nope. Already drowning. How can you sit there like that? Despair doesn't help anything. Neither does false hope. And I'm not despairing. How can you say false hope? You're drowning! Well, you're missing your oars! And you don't even know where you're going. And yet you're so sure you're gonna get there. It's better than drowning. Enjoy floating on the surface like you always do. There's nothing deep about drowning. Just get in the boat. You have to let me feel this. Someone has to. That's not fair. I love him as much as you do. I just really believe we're going to be okay. What is happening? So, this is a game made by two parents that lost their five-year-old son to a brain tumor. And this is basically the story that 
they wanted to tell to people. So both of them are game developers and they made this game for their young son that passed away and had lost a, their, the battle with cancer. Which in my opinion is one of the worst things on this whole planet. Because you know, you know that this is something that everyone in life will eventually will eventually encounter. Like it is inevitable. That you will live your whole life without in, is, having any experience with a disease that awful. And I hope that one day, maybe not, maybe not in my lifetime, but I hope that one day they will find a way to get rid of cancer, or at least a way to make sure that it is beatable. Death is inevitable and everyone here will die. Huh. That's true. The sunset looks pretty from here. The orange glow cast on the wall. Better than the muted colors but of this hospital. Thing is, what Mauricio, is that greens? everybody should they, have the right the ones who choose the colors that to heal. live a full life, you know? Green for Nobody should be taken life. away Blue. early hmm. by a disease that awful. Purple stripes. Also, Mob, hide the stains. welcome. I know it's early morning for you right now. This chair is too small. Welcome to the second hell of um, that dragon cancer. Final. Final. Wait, what? That's not so. Okay. Blue. Purple. It's 1 p.m. and I just woke up. Mm, the ocean, maybe? I'll be, I'll be at a good no. sleep, though. I'll be at a, had a good ocean. sleep, Moby. Silent. <clears throat> warm. And salty. You still have to break like my door. Tears. He won't stop crying. I don't blame him. He feels miserable. I hate that we're here. I hate that he's sick. I just want to feel better. The machine is broken, and we cannot continue. Buddy, don't. <laughs> Here we go. Bouncing around. <laughs> Do you like that? Oh, I love your giggle. Bounce around. <laughs> Is that funny? A bounce, a bounce, a bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> Oh, he won't stop crying. Don't blame him. You're in trouble. <laughs> I could go for a juice box about now. Man. 
He's screaming louder. Buddy, don't you want juice? He hits the box. I don't catch it. <laughs> he drinks it greedily. Big, deep gulps. Okay, Jolie, that's enough. Breathe, kiddo. And he does. And I wipe his face of snot and tears and juice. And then he vomits. And I catch it. I always catch it. This is the second time I'm going thirsty, through this game. Buddy, but you'll throw it up. And I know it is going to don't destroy grab too hard. me. You'll squirt all the juice out. Here, let me have it. I hate this room. I didn't used to. For a, for a moment, it was an adventure. I was cast as the compassionate and caring father, holed up with his fragile son in a small cleft in the rocks. The storm raging, waves ripping at the sharp black rocks below, and enveloped in my arms, he feels safe, and I am holding him firmly trying not to slip because if you hold tight enough nothing will take him right feel better. Okay, buddy, okay, I'll hold you. Oh, Joel Bug, you look so miserable. No! Don't hit your head on the bars, Joel. Joel! Joel! I know you're mad. Please stop. Please. St stop. I shake. I weep. I pray. I plead. I need. Peace. this far. He's still here, not dead, not there, with you. Oh God, I want him here with me. Please. Peace. He sleeps. Yep, this is a really, really heavy game, and I'm already having, I'm already having wells in my eyes. There's a story in the but Bible I where know Jesus and his disciples are on a boat. We're not there at the end yet. It's about half an hour. A furious storm hits the sea, and 
everyone thinks they're going to die. And where do you think Jesus is? Rowing alongside them? No. Wait, am I seagull like, on his shoulder right now? In the back of the boat. So his disciples are freaking out and wake him up and they say, Don't you care if we drown? So Jesus gets up and he says to the storm, Quiet, be still. And the sea becomes completely calm. Man, Jesus is powerful. Then he asks his disciples why they are so scared and if they have any faith at all. Like he was frustrated with them. Because even though Jesus said, let's go to the other side of the lake, his disciples thought he was going to just let them die. There are some really sad games out there. Games with tragedies, games with sad endings, sad characters, or... But there really is no piece of media, movie or game, or book, that has crushed me as hard as this game. And especially the ending of this game is... Very painful. Got three and a half hours, bud. Oh. <laughs> well, it's 10 a.m. now, so that means you guys can grab one more item from your road trip bag. And it's my turn to be the king. Uh. Oh, Elijah, it's okay. You're very, You're very good. Noble, just, and true king, but now we have to do it as a bond. My first edict as king is we dance like, like monkeys for 30 minutes. <sighs> Maybe like five minutes? Nope, nope, babe. He said 30. We must do what he says. This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> My second edict as king is. They can even make me giggle. <laughs> Monkey noise. <laughs> <laughs> Good joke, King Isaac. So. Matter, Elijah, was that too loud for you? Joel has two older siblings. A older brother and an older sister. And. Only deserved his good sleep. As hungover last night. <clears throat> uh... You go all the way up there. Hold on. So Joel died. Everyone does eventually, I suppose. Why is this current assembly in lighthouse thing? It's um, it's all metaphorical, mob. Give the art direction this game. Um. So, Mob, this is a game of a game of two parents that made a game. About their five-year-old son, Joel, that eventually passed away because of a brain tumor. But more than that, if he does die, will Jesus even care? Will he weep for him as he did for Lazarus? Will he weep for me? 
I think greater than my fear of death is that of insignificance. Rather, this is the most my default assumption is that my thoughts media and passions and love and the encountered. stuff of my being and are insignificant. This game is so beautiful at the same time. How could the creator of all that is and ever was so. love my son as he did Lazarus? And could my soul stranded on this blue raft awash in a sea of stars, ice and dust matter enough it's a to story him to turn of his hand in mercy? Two parents? That went through the biggest nightmare you can possibly have as parents of a young child, of of of, of any child really. Um, I heard a pill bottle for some reason. This one right here. Jesus wept for Lazarus. Five minutes later, he raised so the drugs are bad for you. Dead. They're not drugs. <laughs> They're not drugs, weird. Listen, dr listen. Drugs come comes in bags, okay, not in jars. Is it the toothpicks? Yes. Correct, weird. Well done. Those are some good ears. Yep. There's a line in Lord of the Rings I still remember fondly. You should never have to bury your own child. I, I could do you one better on that. There's a, there's a phrase from the First World War that goes, In times of peace, the child buries the parent. In times of war, the parent buries the child. It is something that should never, ever happen in life child should always bury the parent, not opposite. I'm sorry. I should have known we'd both end up in the same place. We always do. It just scares me every time. I just really believe he'll be healed. I, I know you believe too, just when you act like that, I get all unsure. I don't know that. What do you mean? I just hope that. room But the thing is that, like, um, if this game gets heavy, especially this last half hour, and it is no shame if, you know, it gets too much. Um, because in 40 minutes from now, uh, we'll have a break, because I need some fresh air. And after that, we're going to do the final collab of the stream. Which is gonna be a nine VTuber collab in Fisra cleanup detail. Um, so you know, if you feel like um, it gets too heavy, too emotional, or you know, you feel like there should be happier times, um, then you know, come back in ab about forty-five minutes from now, and um, then uh, it's gonna be the, the penultimate part of. The charity stream and also um, decision about any more incentives because you know we've reached about 1400 so once the starts okay because it is break time after this game with it because then after this game i need a break i really do
and then you just set up Fistra. My God, oh, Lord, my sake. God, let this boy's life return to him. What? I'm gonna dip if this one's done. That's very understandable notes because for you, it is also, as far as I'm aware, 4 a.m. So I still want to say thank you, Nose, for the donation and for sticking along so far. Wait, where are the candles going out? Hey! Stay on. Stay on. Oh no. Have even candles extinguish eventually, huh? No fire burns forever. Oh no, I can't keep up. They extinguish too fast. Merry Christmas, filthy animals. Artemises, thank you for the follow. As I said before, this hits close. Not quite cancer, but I've gone too similar this year. No, don't tell me. Oh Lord, my God, let this boy's life oh, return to him. No, did you? You can, you can DM me about it, Nose. DM me about it. Because if it isn't cancer, then... You keep pumping through the toothpicks. Yeah, they are right below my microphone. I need to put them away. I don't want him in my mouth right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a realistic person myself. And I know that in the end, it was useless, but I still appreciate the church doing this. He was not in the wind. He was not in the earthquake. He was not in the fire. He was here in a gentle whisper. Wife had a miscarriage early this year. Would have had twins sometime late June, early July. Man. I'm sorry, nose. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's... My condolences knows. I... Don't know what else to say about So here we are. And the air is emptier without his laugh, and yet our hearts are still full, though with a different drink. And this ride we've been on for so long is silent, and so also the Lord. And so we sit here in this new silence, and long for the music to start again, and for the disc to spin again, even if it means going round and round for many more years. For at least we would be moving and Joel would be laughing here on earth and not only in heaven. 
But in this space... No need to dwell on it. It's been a while, we're mostly over it. But obviously this game evokes memories and feelings. And now we yeah. know love and longing, empty and full, all in one moment. I hope it's not and I am too much for you, Nose. Him well. And that we miss him well. Yes. And I hope... Like I, like I said at the beginning, um, he will whisper his during the gingerbread house you. section, that um, and that you will know him this can and be a very deeper. heavy game, but now, because a lot of people grieve in silence. have, not without his presence, you know, been in a situation in life in which some of these subjects are getting close to home. You know, for me as well. For me as well. No, um, like like I said during the Gingerbread House stream, I have lost approximately half my family to cancer, and damn it, I I, I kind of like and hate how my VTuber avatar is smiling through all of this. Come on, Sumio. I bet you would like it too. Oh, fuck! Look at all of these Man. pancakes. Did you ever see pancakes like this? Yeah, during my last 4D stream. <laughs> one is for me, and the other one is A lot of pancakes. <laughs> I always wanted a dog, and now <sighs> I got one. Ne I next 4D cooking stream, one. pancake nightmare. Thank you. <laughs> Sumio makes the biggest pancakes in Antarctica. <laughs> Whoa, bubbles? I love bubbles. And that is a well-designed dog. That bug is Maybe so well animated. Maybe catch a bubble. You like to bite them. Look, I can catch one. I think I'm gonna go. Thanks for seeing Sumio. No problem, pigeon. Have a good night, man. I want more bubbles. I think the only thing that hit me was a crying segment. It reminded me of the time when I was in the hospital surrounded by kids crying in other rooms, so I was suffering myself. That's a very heavy you scene. See a rainbow in the pebble? I'm here, me and you. Have another pancake. Um, I don't think it's okay to give pancakes to dogs, but okay, well, I mean. <clears throat> I can eat whatever I want. I never fall. Really? <laughs> it's a case of really, really tiny one without any syrup. Um, I can't. They kind of look like pancakes without syrup, right? For a time after the experience, I hated kids, but I've since gone past it and now I love them. Like pancakes? You can That's how life works. That's how life works. There's never any moment in life that, like, you know, you hate something forever. Never. Never. Um. That's, not, that's not how humans work, you know? To a bite-sized pancake. Okay, okay, so so you can feed dogs pancakes then. Okay, I see. Did, I'm pretty sure like sugary things are very, very bad for dogs, but... Yeah. <clears throat> There's one more scene. There's one more scene. Yep. January 12th. Five year old Joel Green. Passed away from a brain tumor. And this is family. 
Oh, he had three older brothers. Oh, I thought he had two olders. Oh, okay, well. And, um... You know, his parents... Record his life. And... Um... The things that... He went through. And... They... Made this game... As remembrance, but also as, um... sign, you know, for people out there. I think they mentioned earlier that Amy was pregnant with a fourth when it got Giles to know. Um... Uh, is, is that really true? 3,687 Kickstarter backers. Damn! Oh man, little pups. And the thing is that, like, what you've experienced throughout the game is... Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Also, Cepheus... Hey, man. <laughs> what you've experienced throughout the game is... Uh, they still gave Joel... A great life, even though they knew... That at the end it was terminal. And I bet, I think, that Make-A-Wish was also... An eventual part in all this. Um, that maybe day two in Joel's last four months has done something for them. He was a new child that's replaced with Joel, so yes, in case he was pregnant. I, I always thought the, I thought the implication was that like they would donate something. Uh, not donate, uh, as in like adopt a, uh, a child, right? But. Okay, damn. That is slow, and it hides so well the even hope of being in this play by the fear of coming back. Sense of doom is the worst. That and the fact that it's a cellular disease. It's a cellular disease and that is what makes it so hard to beat. That is what makes it so hard to... To crush, basically, you know? Um... Man, there's a lot of Kickstarter backers. If if I knew of this Kickstarter, I would have donated to it. But I I I wasn't there in 2014. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was the game that Dragon Cancer. It's a very rough game, and a game that. Absolutely crushed me the first time I played through it. Um, and what I hate about this is that it's, in, in the end, it's all so real. It's all so real. Um, things like parents losing their children, cancer, loss of loved ones. It's, it's a thing that hits close to everyone at one point in their life. And eventually Joel passed away at the age of five from a brain tumor that he was born with. That is so... Exceptionally brutal. Why is it including this in your stream? This was something that I had to do. Um for this charity stream. This is something that, that, you know, at least everybody in their life should at least play or see once. This is such an exceptionally well-made game. And yet it's so unbelievably brutal to go through it. Um, so, 
you know, thank you for watching this part of the stream. And I'm going to um, take a half hour break. Uh, because we're going to set up the pen ultimate part of the, 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 the charity stream tonight. Um, let's have about a 20 minute or 30 minute break. Um, and then we'll be back with the second call up of the night. Visera cleanup detail with 9 VTubers. Um, some of these uh, already in chat, some of them who will be in chat, and some of them that have already appeared earlier during Kartik. Thank you for streaming this, no problem. <clears throat> that was rough, it really makes you appreciate what you have, doesn't it? It is. And it, it, this is the one piece of media that will always crush me. I, I can't think of any movie or game that is more painful than this one. So, um, take a break, take a breather, take a drink, and um, we'll be back in about 20 to 30 minutes. Nose, um, have a good night, man. And we'll be back soon with the second to last part of the charity stream, which is um, Fixer Cleanup Detail, Senna's Workshop. For those that are going to stick around, thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Those that are leaving, very misunderstandable. And um, I'll see you soon. Thank you and I'll be back later. <laughs> okay, first of all, fine. That's off to you. <laughs>